guys how is it going so here welcome back to the channel now today on the channel we've got another unboxing as you can see from the thumbnail we are unboxing today the Cobb Vamp Chase Funko Bop from the Mandalorian now this one I've probably had for about a month now uh, it's just been sitting in my room and the reason is I've actually been away I've been uh, to Scotland for four or five nights and um, yeah I just haven't been able to record any videos lately or plan that far ahead so i do apologize for that um but yeah there's, since then there has been a few changes to the channel um my setup again as you can see it's changed again it's always changing my setup but regarding my collection that is changing a little bit i've just hit a brick wall lately when it comes to funkos and um i went funk up hunting in scotland and nothing was really catching my eye even the stuff in my conscience was telling me that like, i should buy it when i really knew that like, i shouldn't and lately when i have bought a few pops i've just not got any excitement when i bought them i feel like i've bought them because i've had to buy them not because i've actually wanted them so i've decided to change up the channel a bit especially with my collection and if you haven't checked out my depop yet i will list my depop uh, in the description down below but i've got loads of funk pops now on my depop that i am getting rid of um i'm focusing on stuff that i'm a massive fan of so funk pops and collections that are such a higher priority for me and as you can see one of my higher priorities uh, from day one as well actually is the walking dead i'm a massive walking dead fan and this is one reason why i started my channel was for my love for the walking dead and i've just finished the mid-season finale of that so there should be a lot more walking dead content coming on the channel and it could be exciting because walking dead funko pops as we all know or not maybe not maybe not all of you know but walking dead funko pops are really hard to get especially like the walkers the zombies they're very difficult to get and the prices are going up all the time um but yeah so we, we should see a lot more walking dead content on my channel um and loads of other things but maybe i should save that for another video but walking dead the mandalorian um marvel wise i'm mainly focusing on avengers endgame and infinity war because they're my two favorite marvel uh, films anyway so that is the past and let's move on to the present and today's uh funk pop the cob vamp this one i did get from ebay so i'm a little bit worried especially as it has been sitting in my room for quite a while now so uh, I, my last video on an unboxing was the Yelena Funko Pop from I was going to say Black Widow from the Hawkeye and that pop didn't come in the best condition so another risky uh, Funko Pop pickup from eBay not sure how this is going to go let's take a look is it bubble wrapped okay the packaging looks alright You know what, this, right, the packaging looks really good. But I think with the Yelena Funko Pop unboxing, the packaging was really good with that as well. So it doesn't mean much yet. But I'm impressed with the packaging. Oh, there is a dent at the top. That's quite a big dent. Hmm. How do I feel? I'll take it, you know. I'll take it. I'm not sure what you're driving. We drive a little blemishes or dents, but yeah, really, I'm happy to get this one because I'm a massive Timothy. I'm a massive Timothy Oliphant fan. I've mentioned it in previous videos, and uh, as soon as I saw him in the Mandalorian, I was hooked. But here is the pop then, the Cobb Vanth Chase. It really is an awesome one. Um, I did mention there is a dent on the top. Mm, dents are really awkward. Uh, really are difficult to show on camera. But if you can see there, there's a bit flickered up there. Um, yeah, I think that's the best you're going to get when it comes to actually seeing the dent. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, in a, I'm not in a bad mood today. I'm actually in quite a good mood. Uh, but yeah, a slight little dent. Apart from that, I'll whack it in a pot protector and keep that one safe. But um, yeah, that is my latest Mandalorian uh, pickup then. Uh, the Cobb Vamp Chase. Um, I'll put it on turntable now for you guys to take a look at. Um, I do remember when I was ranking the Mandalorian Funk Pop collection with my brother. And my brother couldn't believe how sly or, or cheeky, you could say, Funk I were making the Cobb Vamp Pop. Uh, the common one that is and the bob effect one because the difference isn't that much is it but there we go let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the pop like i said buzzing to get that onto my collection so so yeah there will be loads more mandalorian content coming on the channel so don't worry about that i do need to get the mandalorian with the glow in the dark dark saber and we need to get the hooded luke skywalker as well so there are a few more mandalorian pops and unboxings that we will see on the channel um but as it stands right now I haven't bought any Funko Pops for about three weeks, maybe three weeks. And the last pop I bought, which was about three weeks ago, was a Scarlet Witch pop. And I've already thought, 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna appreciate it that much so um it probably will be listed on my depop soon it is the one with uh wanda or scarlet witch uh levitating with the book when she becomes a scarlet witch so yeah that one probably will be listed on my depop as well anyway guys let's wrap today's video up i hope everyone has a lovely easter today is good friday so hope you all have a very good friday have a happy easter and i'll see you back here next week for a brand new video see you later